What's up, everyone? Quaithy Smiles here, and it's been a bit since we've had a Tekken trailer, so I thought that today I would actually just go through all the characters that I believe are going to be revealed next within the next few weeks or so once we get a new update. Of course, if you guys want more Tekken content, make sure that you guys subscribe and let's just get straight into it. Now, I'm going to tell you that obviously we have Lily that's going to be coming in soon because we just got the Asuka announcement, but the biggest one that I have been waiting for is Elisa. Now let me tell you that once Elisa comes in, it's over because we saw exactly Jack's treatment of how he was treated as a redesign and how he's no longer that turtley type of patient character anymore and now he's got more aggression. and. If that's the case, then that means Alisa's really going to have some aggression because she already had most of it from her poking play style, but she was also a very chill and relaxed, like kind of turtle play character. She turtled a lot. She excelled at turtling. Usually Alisa players like picking infinite stages because her backdash and movement was the best. I predict that her movement and backdash is probably going to be the best in the entire Tekken 8 roster. And I predict with all these new heat engagers and all this chip damage and pressure, because this game is going to a more aggressive area, that Elisa is going to be a more aggressive character. And because she also has her chainsaws, I guarantee you that a lot of the stuff that's going on with her is going to be absolutely insane. With her chainsaw stance, she's probably going to be chipping away a lot of your life in heat rush. And that is going to be scary because she is heavily plus on all of her moves. And on top of that, she also has amazing punishment. She's going to have great punishment. And I also predict that her forward one plus two is probably going to be a heat engager. It looks like it would be a heat engager, especially since you're pushing forward. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if they still keep her back for four, the new move that she got, her new 15 frame launcher that she got from them. And we'll see what else they give her. But it's going to be interesting how her rework and redesign is going to end up. But I'm telling you right now, if you are not playing Elisa in Tekken 7, you better hop on it because she is going to be the most broken character in Tekken 8 free. I know she is going to be broken and mark my words because I guarantee you she is going to be absolutely insane once the game drops. Of course, let me know down below who you guys are predicting for the roster and give me the opportunity to tell you that you're crazy and they're not coming in by letting me respond to you. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and hit that notification bell so that way you are alerted every single time I drop a new video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Bye. KO Final round Fight <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 